Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my Angular course. In the previous videos, we have completed about the directives concept and also we have seen what is attribute directive and also what is structural directive also we have seen and also we have created a custom attribute directive and also a custom structural directive also we have created of our own. So if you want to learn more about these directives, you can see my previous uh, videos and now we will go to the new concept that is services. So what is this services? Services in Angular is an important concept. What we can do, uh, do is services, what we can assume is it is a central repository something like, like that. Okay, what is central repository? Central repository is nothing but if you have a piece of data, a piece of code which you are writing more and more in the components, in the different components if you are writing more and more. So if you want to implement this piece of code, so you can write it in a separate class so that the piece of code you can use it wherever you want. So that means instead of duplicating the code, you will write in a separate uh, file or somewhere in a separate logic in somewhere so that you will be making use of that logic wherever you want. Okay. So there is nothing but the services and we have more and more uses with the services also. We will see. And also with the services, we learn about the dependency injection and all those things where we will be using the dependency injection also. You will see in this videos. Now we will see what is the service. Okay. So let's see in our real time example. Here I have an. Here I have an. Same old example only. Now what I want to do is so here let's think that whenever I do an action, whenever do I do an action or anything in my code. So whenever I click here. I want to submit some data to the uh, database or anywhere log I need to log the data okay so I need to log the data to database or Redis or MongoDB anywhere anywhere I need to log the data okay so if I need to log the data so I need to write a code okay so in the same scenario if I click on change name also I need to log a data okay so how we will be logging a data okay let's uh, uh, comment out this all use uh, what we can say about the component lifecycle thing so that we will be able to understand so here I will comment out these all constructor, engine changes, all those things so that we will get minimum consoles. We can see the services thing. So let me comment out this all code. Okay. Uh, I am commenting out this all code. Okay. Now, for example, here, whenever I add a user, I need to console the data to the uh, database or somewhere so for let's for example we need to console it to the console.log okay so now what i will try to do is so here in the add user we will go to the add user dot component dot ts whenever a user is added just i will write console.log um, user is added okay i need to set some data okay this dot username something like this i will be adding the data okay uh, sorry this dot username okay i have added the data Okay, so this is the console I'm doing. So this may be so uh, uh, log to database or make a call, make a post call or something like this. Okay, anything, anything you can have, any data, any, any, any logic. So such, such a logic. I have the logic. Just I need to console it to the console. So I, I add this logic. Now what I want to do is so whenever the when I click here, whenever uh, I try to create an user here. I got the that user is added so I am able to get the output here right I am able to get the output here now whenever I click on this change name also I need to do the same th same concept so change name change name means we can go to the users component.ts and here on name change we can check we can see the change name so console.log name changed so I can do this dot name like this okay so I am doing the same same set of thing. Now if we see the logic, if we see here the code, if I try here, we got the output and if I click here, I, I got the same thing. It's fine. So if it is a single line of logic means you have written some uh, this here and here. Now the you now the requirement has changed. So instead of consoling dot log, I need to do something else. Okay. So I need to uh, submit it to the database. So I don't want to do the console dot log. I, I want to submit this data to the database. Now what I need to do, I need to change it here. And also I need to change it here also the logic that means it will be a tedious job if your project is bigger so if you want if the project is bigger and if you want to change every places so you will be not able to know where to change, how many places I need to change so it will be a tedious job so for this reason so we need to write this logic in a separate set of class 
so that we will be using the class method here so whenever we need to change the logic in one place in central place one place we will be changing the logic everywhere it will be affected so let's try to write that service thing so how we can write the services is so it's simple we can create a directory we can create a folder something like this services and you can create a file okay you can create a file with name logging.service.ts okay so name i can create logging.service.cs so it's simple class export class logging service okay i can write like this so here i will be writing that log to console or anything any 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 method so i have written a method so you don't think that i need to mention at the rate service or something so there will be no at the rate service or something like this so same like directly or component you will be not having at the rate service or anything okay now log to console so you will be getting the status here so status of type string you will be getting the status of type string and what you will be trying to do is so just simply you will console.log the status so now how can you use this service now so now i want to use this service here how can i use this service so one method what we can say in the typescript class or anything we can say that let logging service is equal to new logging so we can create a object for this one so we can import the what we can do we can do the we can do the import from the services so we can you do the import from the services we can do the import same thing what we can do here logging service we can do the import and here directly i can use this logging services okay login services i can do logging service dot log to console and i can send the uh, data that user is changed or something like this i can change i can send and i can do the so this will be concerned okay this is one process this is the class thing and all those things so there is no wrong in this one implementing so for example if i do it here if i click if i write add user it will work and also if i change the user also it will work so it's not a problem so it will work like this also okay we so somehow we made a separation of the logic okay so we deleted the duplication of the logic so here console.log also you can create an object and you can do the log to console method but somehow we need we, we made a separation logic separation so that we written the code in one place so that central repository so that we, if you want to change the logic anything so one place you can change the logic so you can write like this also but this is not the right way in angular to represent this one okay creating an object and all those things this is not the right way so we need the UA. so angular provides an option dependency injection in order to uh, use the service so we will learn in that next video how to use this service through dependency injection in the angular okay this is what this is all about the service and how we can use the service so just remember one thing service is nothing but it provides a service service itself name itself it is providing a service to the components or anything so the commonly written logic and all those things you will be writing writing in a service so that whatever the logic you have written there so you can use it in all the components that logic okay this is the about the services in angular so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you